evaluate integration of 0 to infinity integration of 0 to infinity e raised to minus of x square plus y square dx dy by changing into polar coordinates okay now solution now in polar in polar change into polar in polar so we have would take x is equal to r cos theta and take y is equal to r sin theta squaring and adding x square plus y square is equal to r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta r square is common cos square theta plus sin square theta is, is a 1 only r square and dx dy you consider in polar form r into dr d theta okay now see i is equal to integration of 0 to infinity integration of 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square y square dx dy means this is x is equal to 0 to infinity and y is equal to 0 to infinity only positive side means this any p point p x y is a positive side x and y axis first quadrant of this is first quadrant x and y are a positive both are positive means first quadrant okay since x and y varies from x and y 0 to infinity okay now this is a first quadrant x and y are both are positive x and y both are positive means first quadrant now consider theta in first quadrant theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 because is a first quadrant quadrant first quadrant okay now now thus i is equal to integration of you take theta is equal to 0 to 5 by 2 because first quadrant and x and y are po positive 0 to infinity and r is also varies from varies from 0 to infinity x and y integration of because required d theta means theta limits and dr means r limits r is also 0 to infinity e to the power minus of x square plus y square means r square minus r square dx dy dx dy means r into dr d theta okay now this is not possible to integrate this one now we put r square is equal to theta now differentiate this one to r dr is equal to d theta or r dr is equal to d theta by 2 put t is equal to 0 sorry put r is equal to 0 theta is equal to 0 put r is equal to infinity theta is also infinity means theta varies from clearly varies from 0 to infinity same therefore i is equal to integration of theta is no change 0 to pi by 2 and this one is change r is a change 0 to infinity e raised to minus r square r square means t e raised to minus t r dr r dr means d theta by 2 into d theta d t by 2 and d theta as it is and this is equal to take 1 by 2 outside integration of theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 okay 0 to pi by 2 and integrate e raised to minus t with respect to t means minus e raised to minus t with the limit 0 to infinity d theta okay now i is equal to minus take outside minus 1 by 2 integration of theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 e raised to infinity is a 0 minus lower limit this minus is outside okay don't confuse e raised to 0 means 1 d theta minus minus plus means half integration of theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 d theta the next is integration with respect to theta 1 by 2 1 is there means theta with limits 0 to pi by 2 now therefore therefore i is equal to 1 by 2 first you apply the upper limit pi by 2 minus lower limit 0 now this is a pi by 4 
Now this is a required solution.